All right. Welcome back. So, yeah, <laughs> it's um, been a wonderful weekend, and mm -hmm. we had a beautiful coronation. Yep. The coronation of a 21st Ulu of Wari, yeah. Omoba Shola Imiko. And it was, um, it was splendid. It was extravagant. It mm. was... Uh, the glitz, the yes. glamour, yes. the glitterati, yeah. the the splendor. It was it was it was cool to watch. I mean, someone yeah. made mention that at least we're not. Uh, it's not every time we'll be hyping Queen of England and yeah. all the ceremonies. <laughs> we have our own. Yeah. And it was good to see someone who is young, who's progressive, mm. who you know, who mm. understands what it means to uh, to be a part of uh, uh, mm. to be a millennial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, yeah. and move. And you know, it brought me to think about it. That uh, what role. Uh, what, what, what's the role of a traditional mm. institution yeah. in societal development? True. I mean, look, look at it. Before now, we know that um, in, in ancient days and part, times past, before, the, uh, before colonial before masters, colonial even masters, after this, yeah. the traditional institution was very powerful. In mm -hmm. fact, we, that was how the rule was, yeah. monarchy and everything. But then with the advent of democracy, mm. a lot of things have quite changed. Change. They've turned to some sort of intermediary, mm -hmm. per se, not really recognized as power as such by the constitutions of different countries where you still have these yeah. monarchies and all yeah. of that. But they still do have a role. So I, I wanted to look in, into you know, some of the background. You know I'm the one that always does the history segment, so I'm okay. going to go okay. back. So Warri Kingdom, according to history, dates back 541 years. years. Yeah. Now that is incredibly significant. It's a long time. And um, the coronation itself marks... Uh, the Ulu of Wari as a principal officer of the Wari kingdom with the help of the chiefs, the, the Ojoye. And uh, the Ulu runs the affairs of the Ishekiri people. Mm. So how... So I, I, I don't want to make it seem like, you know, you're doing a compare and contrast. Uh, but you have to think about how much impact former uh, kings have had and how this particular one has decided to broadcast it to the world who he is and, and that, that he has arrived. So uh, this is the first time I've seen the coronation so well broadcast, so well uh, mm. opened up to the public. The I'm coronation of Onyo of Ife was also broadcasted yeah. as well. So I, I think like, it's like Mike, yeah, it's a timing. It's like, it's, like Mike said, okay. um, it's the, the advent or mm. the advent of things are changing. Okay. So, I mean, why not just go with the times? And I mm. think it was also nice of, mm. you know, them to let people into That's their the world and That's into the their space. Mm. And let's not forget, he's no longer the Omo Bashola. Yeah. I remember that song actually yeah. always plays in my head. He's mm. now the Ogiyame mm. Otsuwashe mm. the third, mm. And that's his new title. Mm. And that's his new mm. name going his forward. Name. You know, yeah. I, um, for, so uh, I, saw, I, I, I saw that there was a... There was a following from actors and Nollywood. Mm. Yeah. You know, True. and so I asked the question, I was like, is he an actor or something? You know, <laughs> and then so it was then someone now pointed out that um, the series Tokwe was involved in Riona, mm. yeah. that it yeah, was a depiction, depiction of, of the, the Shekiri Shekiri Kingdom. Kingdom. Yeah. Uh, sure. You understand? Mm. And the series had uh, was met mm. with so much um, acclaim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it was met with so much acclaim, mm. and that mm. is why. A lot of Nollywood and actors mm. were there. We're there. I mean, the boat regatta mm. yeah. and all of that. The boat regatta is a very strong, um, you know, st mainstay of yeah. Niger Delta. Yeah. If you're going to do anything going in Niger Delta, Delta yeah. a boat the regatta boat, is yeah. it. And they had a very, just before the coronation, mm. there was a boat regatta for two hours yeah. and all of that. Split. It was, really it was wonderful really to watch great. and all of that. Mm -hmm. So because of Riona and all of that, that's mm. why, you know, there was that warming up. Okay, we've, we've seen what... Uh, it, it, we've seen what the Shekimi Kingdom can, mm. uh, you know, what it entails and all mm. of that, and it was quite cool. Mm. Well, um, what I love the most about this is, especially in, at, in a time or at a time like this where history is um, mm. gradually, you know, our history and mm. our culture is gradually wading off. Even, you know, is, our children, you know, it do is. not even know what our history or mm. our it culture is. upholds anymore. Yeah. It was yeah. beautiful to see this, like, in, you know, picture mm. you get. I mean, to see all of this being celebrated, it was lovely okay, to so see. Okay, so we're just, uh, let's, to... let's touch down before, because we're about to round up now, yeah. Yeah. the role. Yes. Now we're talking about the role. Yes. I said that before this time, they've mm. been, I, I wouldn't say, but their role has now been mm. more of intermediaries mm. between the executive or the government and, and the, people. the people. And yeah. it's a very important role. Yeah. I dare say, I mean, when what really got me was the acceptance. Mm. In such a way, the, 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 the traditional ruler, the, the, the old world warrior, was accepted in such a way that I've not even seen an elected government being accepted. So that's what I'm saying. So I'm saying that with that way, there's a lot that traditional institutions can do yeah, when it comes is. to bridging the gap mm -hmm. and being an intermediary. I hear, I hear what Mike is saying. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't get to watch the speech 
that speech was a very, very, very powerful speech. And I think it's one that might be quoted in universities uh, sometime soon. Uh, I know we don't have time to play that now, but the speech was very, very significant. He touched on so many key areas, and also he touched on religion. So mm. uh, that was very, very significant for me, and he, you know, he, he gave uh, credence to God in every way for him having received that crown, and he, he sounds like he understands the responsibility, and uh, yeah, God speed to him. Yeah, wishing him all the best. All right, mm -hmm. all the best, all the best, all the best. That was a very wonderful display of our tradition over yeah. the weekend. And that's it on What's Up and About. We'll take this time out. There's still quite more to come on the show.